Welcome back, folks. I decided to bring you back at the end of the month of July just to give us a little bit of a peek of what we've been doing over the last couple of games. When I last left you, uh, we drew nil-nil against Yamagata. We ended up going away to Shonen, who was relegated last year, uh, has not been playing very well in the league. I remember correctly, they're actually dead last and we ended up dominating that game and winning 2-0. Kind of left it late, 82nd minute, 84th minute, but still managed to pull out a victory in that game. Uh, we had a game against Tokyo. Home game where, again, left it late, but it still managed to pick up the victory. XG looking very good here. Possession about even. Lots of yellow cards in this game, which led to quite a few suspensions over the next couple of games. And then things, things went downhill. Um... A game against FC Tokyo, who, to be fair, is in the J1 League, we were absolutely terrible. Uh, within 13 minutes, we went from nil-nil down to 4 nil, and uh, we just never really recovered. XG, though, looked pretty solid. To be fair, a lot of that did come later on in the game when I think that Tokyo just kind of took the foot off the gas, so to speak. Uh, kind of let us back into the game a little bit with an 83rd minute goal, but we really did not have much of an opportunity here. You may notice that we used a different goalkeeper, Nikawa, versus our regular keeper, and that is due to the fact, go to the medical center here, that our starting keeper tore their knee ligaments in practice. So unfortunately, out for three to four months, pretty much out for the rest of the season. So I kind of went in a little bit of a panic here. Uh, with our other goalkeeper trying to bring in some more uh, players just to kind of round out the squad. We had quite a few injuries. Fortunately, we actually got a week off for the first time in, oh, God only knows how long. And uh, as a result of that, we were able to get some of these players who were injured just back to normal status. But unfortunately, we're still going to be without our goalkeeper for the rest of the season. Very important player. Three and a half star ability. I mean, only conceding 15 goals in 26 appearances. Uh, you know, we are a solid defensive team, but uh, you know, having a strong goalkeeper is going to be necessary for us to be successful. We're still doing great in the league. We're still up 16 points uh, up on the team below us with the game in hand. Promotion is looking more than likely. We still have 11 games left to play in the season, but this is not the time for us to lose our goalkeeper. That also being said, transfer window is open. So uh, I did decide to go ahead and bring in a player, uh, Shimabuku, uh, a very good, solid center attacking mid, can play on the left and the right-hand side here. You know, Should be a good addition to this squad. We were kind of running thin, especially with all of the injuries. Luckily, we did have a lot of players come back. We also have some transfers going out as well, which is really unfortunate. Um, I did reject an offer for Takagi. Uh, it was only 160,000 pounds. Uh, obviously, one of our key strikers this season definitely do not want to sell. Um, uh, Kawamoto was actually brought up from our youth squad here at Gunma. And uh, you know, only two stars here, but did receive a bid for him. I can't remember if I... Oh, I didn't reject it because it was an end of contract bid. Uh, go back to look at some of the other players here. Uh, Shiroa, not one I wanted to lose, but unfortunately, they met the offer. We had promised him we were going to sell him. If an offer of 275,000 pounds was made, and it was, so that would be kind of an unfortunate loss here. Hasn't really been a major starter here, but definitely a good, solid backup center defender here. And uh, we also, and this is kind of the big one here, Kikuchi, who is our star player here, he had a release cause in his contract, which I forgot about uh, for 575,000 pounds. That has been met by two teams here. So it looks like we're going to lose Kikuchi. So I am looking for a left back to replace him. So we've got a lot of things going on here. I, I, I don't really know. I don't really know what to expect kind of moving forward. We obviously have some changes here, some players moving out, maybe some players moving in. Uh, we'll just kind of have to wait and see what happens. I have made a couple of other offers for some other players here at Kitagawa. Made an offer for him as a defensive mid, possible center back replacement. And then uh, Hayakawa as just kind of a loan in here to be able to kind of, you know, tie up some loose ends here defensively. We also are going to bring in a Wakabashi from Omaya, and that would be a goalkeeper, possible backup here 
to um, our, our reserve. So we'll just kind of have to wait and see what happens here. But I just wanted to let you in on a lot of the things that were happening. Now, what we're going to do is play two games today. We are going to play a game against Nagasaki. And then our second game, I'm not even sure who we're playing against here. But I do need to make some changes. So we do only have one keeper. That makes me nervous. Um, Sagawa. Mortensen in there. And... Tawia, who came back from either a suspension or injury, I am not sure. Mm, I do not want to lose him. The Kikuchi in there. Hopefully his eyes aren't turned the other direction with the transfer offer that is in. I'm doing a lot of rotation here. I'm not going to complain about that whatsoever. We're finally at a point in the season where the games aren't scheduled every single day. <laughs> or at least it seems like every single day. Games aren't scheduled uh, twice a week. So we can... You know, settle things down a little bit, kind of get into a bit of a routine here. But it looks like, you know, I'll go ahead and put one of these guys on the bench just because I can. And we're going to go ahead and submit the team. And hopefully pick up a victory over Nagasaki. Want to keep this good run of form in play here, even though uh, we do have a backup keeper in goal. A good run of form. Strong defense. Strong midfield. And go score some goals. Let's see if we can, like I said, keep this good run of form going. That blip in the League Cup, or the All Japan Cup, I think is what it's called, against Tokyo. Hopefully that doesn't set us back here a little bit. And we did pick up a draw last game, so again, points are points, but we really do not want to give up anything in regards to that 16-point lead up at the top. We want to make sure that we get our promotion and then think about what's going to take place next season. I'm actually really having a fun time at this club. Uh, you know, some people might think that I'm kind of looking to maybe make a move or jump up to a J1 team. I'm actually kind of enjoying it here. Um, you know, again, but offers may come in. We'll just kind of have to take those into consideration and think about, oh my gosh. You know, you have a regular goalkeeper, you have a strong goalkeeper in there. That does not happen. He's in there really just playing with the ball. I mean, it stands his line, which is fine. I don't know why he comes out for that. Like, that, that's not going anywhere near where he needs to be. And just out of place in uh, amongst a bunch of players. And just like that, we're down 1-0. Oh, come on, get a, get something here. Oh, that is a nice header for Take. Take's really come along this season. Really didn't do much first half. Kind of left him on the bench uh, for Takagi. But uh, Take here really coming on strong second half of the season. It's kind of taken over for our lead striker with Takage just not putting up the numbers he did at the beginning of the season. Obviously, we're going to need some offense here if we are going to be allowing goals um, you know, defensively. We're, we're just not going to be a sound without our keeper in goal out for three to four months. So we'll just hopefully we can score more goals than our opponents. It's not the way I like to play, but you know I mean, it's kind of the way we ended up playing at the end of last season where we just weren't good defensively. We just scored more goals than our opponents, and just like that, it is 2-1. Great cross in, and I, I talk, he tried to get there. Looks like it was headed away. And I think Exxon was the one who fired it home. Mortensen to Exxon, crosses it in, and good defensive play by the Nagasaki defender there, but Tanaka just gets his foot on it and fires it in the back of the net, and just like that, it's 2-1, 19 minutes in. Cannot complain. I just think it's going to be a matter of attrition here. Who's going to be able to score more goals? Seeing a lot of highlights early on, so... I don't anticipate this being a very low-scoring game by any stretch of the imagination. Mortensen, again, in the box, just fires it over the top. Probably better to look for a cross there than to fire that. Definitely not uh, one to score goals here. It you know, really should be getting that ball into the box and letting some of our offensive players really drive that ball home. It's exactly how we scored really the first couple of goals this game. And really kind of been the theme for all season here. Just you know, getting crosses in, getting headers on balls, just dominating in the box. And that's what allowed us to really be dominant this season. Nagasaki here, just kind of moving the ball around. Good interception, good interception. Let's turn. All right, now turn. We go. Love how we counterattack. In a way, that's... Oh, okay, I take everything back I said about Mortensen. Um, he, uh, you know, I'd never doubt, should fire the ball every single time. Great cross in. Good, great pass. Again, just... 
we take the ball outside, we stretch the defense wide, and just move the ball in the middle, and just any one of those players can fire the ball home. 3-1. Maybe I shouldn't be quite as worried defensively. I mean, we they only have had one shot on target, and it did go in the back of the net because the goalkeeper made a stupid, stupid and silly mistake. Let's see if we can actually get a save here. Or better yet, turn the ball over and we can go on the counterattack. That would be even better option. Just like that. Exxon, put it up. There you go. Take down. Just run. Run. Everybody moving forward. Figuera to Tanaka to Hasegawa who just fires it wide. Oh, it wasn't fired wide. It was actually tipped. It was a good save by the keeper there. Hasegawa with the corner. Tawia normally gets a header on that. Uh, unfortunately cannot because he is six foot four and is tall. We will play for set pieces. I like that idea. I think we're good at it. 3-1 at halftime. I'm happy. I'm happy with what we've been doing. Again, we cannot become complacent here in the second half, but three goals in the first half. I like it. I like the fact that we are in control. That's dangerous. Especially in front of a, a keeper that's, you know, maybe a little bit nervous. And just like that, it is 3-2. I'm going to demand more. I'm not thrilled about this. I'd be unhappy. I say that every time. But it's like every time I try to motivate them, I try to get them a little bit fired up, they just get, you know, they get pissy. They get upset. It's frustrating. Let's get it back. Come on. Figuera, midfield, Tatawia. And it, uh, Why make that pass? Why is it so bad? All right, substitution time. Yikes. Okay, you're injured for some reason. I... You're complacent. I don't think I even need to replace him. You're having a good game. But defensively, we've got to do better. I don't have a substitution here, do I? Let's do that. Nope, let's not do that. Undo, undo, undo. Let's do that. And then let's do this. Okay. Genius mode, genius substitutions. Take off the player that has scored the goal. I don't like these instructions because it takes us away from our, our shape, our form, but it might not even matter here. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, that's good. Do something with it. Nope. We're just going to lump the ball forward and hope for the best. We play better when we pass it to feet. I can't tell you how many times I've yelled that coach and JV is fine feet. You don't just lump the ball forward. Oh, I don't mean sometimes you do, especially if their defense is slow. Our defense is just bad. Mm, right over the top of the net. Come on, get one more. Just, just, oh. I would expect Take to score there. I really would. Yeah, he's struggling, he needs to be substituted. Why are you, why are you complacent? God, I just want to scream at the top of my lungs. I need some leave after this, some naproxen or something. All right, let's just waste time. No highlights, just end the game. Uh, three points here would be huge. Three points here would be huge. Oh, get an insurance goal. Yo, oh, saw the net bulge, got really excited. <sighs> a sigh of relief. We go to the dressing room. Yeah, that second half is not good enough. Be, uh, I don't even care. Be anxious. Be demotivated. Just win. Oh, 19 points up. I think we're going up here. 10 games left. I am thrilled. And it looks like we sold a player. So, 
I'll have to take a look at that, take care of some business. I will be back with you for the next game here in just a moment. We will be taking on da, 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 Yamaguchi. Did we play them earlier? Yamaguchi? We did. 1-0 win. Let's see if we can do it again one more time. We'll see you soon. Oh, one week later and those transfers went through. If we take a look here, 21st and the 24th, both transfers through. Kikuchi to Yurawa for 575,000 pounds. And then Shiroa to Yamagata for 275,000 pounds. Again, not quite sure why Shiroa wanted to leave to a team that is lower in the table. That I can understand. <laughs> I can understand that being a very good move for Kikuchi. And then we ended up getting um, some transfer revenue from that. We get about half to spend. And so I didn't really go on a spree here, but I did bring in uh, Dake Fukazawa, who can play all across the back here, just as a little bit of reinforcement for the loss of Kikuchi and for the loss of Shiroa, our center back. Um, three star current ability, three and a half star potential. Looks to be pretty good. A uh, little short to play center back, but definitely can be on the right hand side or the left hand side here. We're looking at other possible replacements as well. Look at possible transfers in. Uh, I did go ahead and make a loan offer for Ichikawa from Osaka. It seems like that will probably go through uh, just kind of as a backup keeper here. I know I really haven't done any scouting on him, but I need a body that is not. Uh, a, a you know a grade out player that you know could stop a ball hopefully better than a you know traffic cone um, and then we also looked at a couple of other defenders possibly to bring in here this one I'm actually quite excited about Tanabe from Kawasaki looks to be pretty good um, three hundred thousand pound um, was kind of what they were looking for I offered about two hundred thousand pounds plus some extras here and there. Uh, 22 years old should be a good signing here. I did offer in a transfer and a trial for this player here, Are. Um, only 75,000 pounds. Again, I know I don't have any scouts that are kind of available, so we're kind of playing things fast and loose with some of the money here. But uh, that being said, none of these have gone through. So when we play Yamaguchi, we might have a little bit of a rotated squad here. So we had to kind of bring in some of the players we don't normally bring in. Suzuki playing at center back here has not been the best option here. I forgot that we had Kobayashi here as a left back. It was actually quite good. Uh, So good, in fact, that my cat feeder decided to release its food exactly when I talked about him. So hopefully we'll play quite well. Um, again, I'm going to go ahead and bring in Fukuzawa here uh, to give him an opportunity just to kind of start, just to you know see how well he plays. Uh, but again, we've got uh, a similar squad, but our defense is a little bit rotated because we did lose two key defensive players. Kishibiki is still out for two to four months, so... Let's do the absolute best that we can. Pretty excited about today's game. Yes, I know we have some players there that are not available. Let's give these players some numbers. A 16 and 9. Love it. Let's go to the match. And again, hopefully we can keep our good streak running. Even with our backup goalkeeper, I think that we, if we play as solid defensively as we have been, we should be fine. I think we need to show everybody the praise is justified. Let's go out there and let's have a good match today. And let's just continue to put the pressure. Their form has been utter garbage. Uh, but let's continue to put pressure on the teams below us in the table. We are still 16 points clear of uh, the two teams that are below us. So I'm pretty excited and uh, pretty hopeful that we can still work through a promotion this season. Oh, boy. Very exciting first 20 minutes of the match here. Apologize. You can hear my cat eating in the background. She is she is chunk. Be a great name for the title of this episode, wouldn't it? Absolutely nothing. Okay, um, let's. Okay, I was going to change the team instruction. Maybe we don't want to change the team instruction. Mortensen, or the midfield to Exxon, who fires it. Good stop. Um, rebound, though. Can't really connect on the rebound, though. A header goes right to. The Yamaguchi keeper. We're going to go ahead and make those changes like we normally do. Halftime, not a lot going on. I mean, again, appreciate defensively. One shot, zero on target. Uh, we need a goal here. 
I think this might be just a game we end up pulling out 1-0. Hopefully later, uh, you know, past the 70th minute, we can get a goal here. Don't lose faith. We've created chances. Defenders, step up your game. Everybody step up your game. Make some substitutions a little bit later on, but... Uh, you know what's nice is that I don't ha I'm not forced to make substitutions 45 minutes in because all our players are dead tired. We're at a point in the season now where I can actually play these players and play a strong squad for 65, 70 minutes of the game. Oh, I don't know what that was. If that was a dummy, if it was, it was beautifully done. Hasegawa with the corner. And a dummy, I think, I don't know if did it, I don't think he made contact. I think he got pushed out of the way. And Taki was just like, okay, I'll take this. I love that. Oh, that is a beautiful goal. 1-0. Again, we're just continually dominating performances here. Continually just playing our game. Do not let them back in. Don't take a stupid penalty. That's oh, blocked, thankfully. And uh, we're now on the counter. Take to Tanaka. Moving the ball forward. Again, we are so dangerous on the counter. Ooh. Take just wide. Looks like it might have been deflected for a corner, and it was. Figuera. To take the corner here. See if we can be... I get another one off of set pieces here. That was interesting. Okay. Hasegawa, you do realize that the goal is not that direction. Okay. Let's make some... Well, let's wait after this corner. Take. Oh, my God. We are set piece masters. I love it. I didn't even touch the set piece editor. I just let my assistant manager take care of it, and he has done a fantastic job. Let's go ahead and make some substitutions here. Uh, everybody's really playing well. Sugimoto, not great. Let's get um, Shimabuku in here. Get his first match in. Obviously not sharp, but uh, let's see here. Hasegawa bringing in the right back. Don't like the complacency. It is what it is. Um... You know what? I'm content. I'm content with that. Let's go ahead and finish out this game. Exactly. My cat thinks we need to be finishing up the game here as well. Clearly needs some attention, but what does not need attention is the rest of this game because we're going to take a 2 0 win. Dressing room. Oh, we're in the playoffs. Sweet. Did not realize that. Again, a 19-point lead, nine games left. I think we've got this in the bag. I'm pretty excited about it. Pretty chill victory. Not a lot going on in that game. Uh, definitely dominated XG, dominated possession, dominated shots. We did well. Um, we just keep playing our game. And we're going to continue to do that. So I'm probably actually going to bring you back. Because you don't have a whole lot left in the season. I'll probably bring you back when I think we can guarantee ourselves promotion. I will have to double-check the, the stats here. Check the points. I bring you back maybe somewhere in this realm here. Uh, hopefully we can get promotion settled before October, November. That would be nice. That gives us plenty of time to prepare for the next season. So appreciate your time. Thank you so much for watching. And we will see you in just a little bit in the near future. Take care, everybody. Bye.